proportional relationships. We've been talking about direct variation equations, and direct variation equations are just a way to represent a proportional relationship. So now we'll take a look at some different representations of proportional relationships and decide if they are proportional or not. And then if we, if we decide they are proportional, can we come up with a direct variation equation to represent that particular relationship? So how will we know if a relationship is proportional or not? Well, if I look at a graph, I'm going to see that, the, that it passes through the origin, and then it also has a constant slope. So if I look at a graph, I'm going to see a straight line, and I'm going to see that it passes through the origin. Okay, so that's what I'll see if I see, if I'm looking at proportional relationships in a graph. On a table, I'm going to see that those values, my x and my y, represent um, a proportion. All of the values, as I look at them, represent equivalent ratios. I could think about this as a ratio table. All of these relationships are proportional. So if I look at a graph um, and I decide that it's proportional, I can write a relationship. Remember our um, direct variation equation for proportional relationships is y equals mx. So my slope needs to go where that m is. So I want to look at my graph and figure out what the slope is. Remember, slope is rise over run. It's always the y over the x. So I see I have a rise of 5 and a run of 1. A rise of 5 and a run of 1. So that gives me a slope of 5. So my equation will be 5, a y equals 5x. From a table, I still, want to con I still want to look at how is the y related to the x. So I'm still taking my y value and putting it over my x value. So I'm going to take my 2 over my 4. That's 1 half. My 4 over my 8. That's also 1 half. My 6 over my 12. Also 1 half. My 8 over my 16. That's also 1 half. So here is my slope. Here's my constant of proportionality. 1 half. That's going to go to where my slope is. Y equals 1 half X. And I always want to check it, especially with a table. Um, if I look at this, I would say that if I do 1 half times X for my, for my input, I come up with an output of Y. So 4 times 1 half is 2. 8 times 1 half is 4. 12 times 1 half is 6. 8, 16 times 1 half is 8. So that equation absolutely works. So let's look at some specific graphs and tables. Decide if they're proportional and if they are right an equation. So tell whether x and y are in a proportional relationship and explain. And then if they are, write an equation that represents the relationship. So here we have this graph. Yes, it does pass through the origin and it does have a constant slope. So it is proportional. So yes, it passes through the origin and it has a constant slope. Now to come up with an equation, I'm going to look for the slope. So I'm going to do a rise over a run, and I see a rise of 3 and a run of 1. So that's my slope, so my equation is y equals 3x. Let's look at the second graph here. And immediately I see that it's a straight line, but it doesn't pass through the origin, so it's not proportional. So no, because it doesn't pass through the origin. That's a pretty easy one to check for proportional. C, let's take a look at our table. So again, remember we want to see um, constant ratios going across this table. And I always want to think about my y over my x. So y over x, I have 3 over 1. Um, y over x, I have 6 over 3. 6 over 3 boils down to 2 over 1. So since I immediately have found a pair that are not equivalent ratios, I don't care about the rest of these. As long as I've found one that doesn't match the rest of them, it is not proportional because these are not equivalent ratios. Let's look at this last one here. I have to check all of them. The minute I find one that doesn't match the rest, I can stop but I have to check all of them. Again, y over x, so 5 over 2. Um, so there's my simplified version of that 5 over 2. 10 over 4 is also equal to 5 over 2. 12.5 over 5, I can still work with a decimal there, that's 5 over 2, same thing. And 25 over 10, that's equal to 5 over 2 also. So all of these are equal to 5 over 2. So that's my slope, that's my constant of proportionality from our direct variation equations. So yes, all the values are equivalent ratios. So I can write my equation as y equals 5 over 2 times x. And if I plug that in here, 5 over 2 times 2 would give me 5. Uh, 5 over 2 times 4 would give me 10. Um, so this equation works with the values in my table. So we're checking for uh, different pieces, depending on whether we're looking at a graph or a table. Graph, we want to see it goes to the origin and has a straight line. If we're looking at a table, we want to see that it has a constant of proportionality. They all represent equivalent ratios. And that ratio, or that slope, goes into our equation if we're going to write a direct variation equation to represent the proportional relationship.